Okay, so we just finished biking 20 kilometers and we went as far as we could before the gear got too heavy. While we are here to hike a mountain and camp by a lake, that's not our singular focus because we are plane crash. Crash hunters. We are crash hunters. Basically what we're after is the wreck of a 1950s era DC-3 that crashed on this mountain. Christmas 1950, a Vancouver flight to Penticton, and there was 15 passengers and three crew. They thought they were landing in Penticton. They clipped the trees and the fuselage was torn from the cockpit. Now the pilot died right away and the co-pilot was severely injured and would later died from his injuries before the rescue. And so all that was left was the stewardess and 15 passengers. Oh, so they and didn't so they, even know. Yeah, they spent a while looking for the plane until they saw signal flares coming from Okanagan Mountain about 10 hours after the crash. So they went and did some air reconnaissance and they actually dropped some supplies by helicopter and they noticed that there's a few people alive. And, so this uh, was like days later. Yeah, so they did what they were supposed to do. They stayed with the wreck and they actually found that there was tons of food on board. Like there was some turkey dinner and they got into the booze and they were actually having a great old time. <laughs> uh, aside from the co-pilot who was dying. So they were three days on the mountain with the booze and the dead pilot. Yeah. Sort of a weekend of burning situation. Yeah, but at least the, the stewardess was still there and taking drinks orders. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no path at all to this plane and it's at least a kilometer off any sort of rotor path. So what we're going to do now is ditch our bags and we've got some serious bushwhacking ahead. I want to go straight for that, that knoll right there. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. We got to comb this forest for some sort of pieces of a aircraft. Okay, so we reached this rocky bluff and right down there, we can clearly see there's places of plane. So Whoa. right away. Wow. Okay. Oh, and I wonder if this aluminum is all melted. It's probably from the forest fire. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at, there's a piece of a... Uh, is that a window? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Now, do you know anything wow. about planes? Like, was Please. it a dual engine? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, there's just little tiny bits everywhere. There is a door. Oh, wow. No way. Right? Is that a door latch? Oh, yeah. Maybe the emergency door. Yeah. So we got lots more little chunks here. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> okay, more pieces, but I found there's some sort of fabric piece over here. Hey, that's pretty sweet. I don't know if that's what that is. It could be anything. This is the most intact. This looks like a piece of the wing, don't you think? What? Check this out. It's a propeller blade, like fully intact. Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. <gasps> so this is, uh, this is like the, the aileron. Ailerons. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got a new biggest piece here. Oh, look at that. Oh man, this is the most interesting thing yet. So are we, we're looking into the wing we're attached yeah. to the plane, right? It would have attached here. Well, that's that interesting right? how clean this broke off, hey? Well, up. I would expect a wing to this break is the off front this is the front edge of the wing yeah and this is a flap here okay the um this is the, the axle of the wheel okay oh yeah 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 there's the wheel yeah neat and a shiny steel uh right we spent considerable time kind of walking around the crash site here and 
There's a lot of mysteries. We don't know if a piece of the plane is removed because there's just a lot of it in little pieces everywhere, but we never found the main fuselage that you can see in the 1950s picture. Divide Lake and we are parched. That looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's the book. Okay, we've dumped our bags for the second time today because we thought while we're passing by, we may as well go summit this mountain. Okanagan Mountain. <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah, there we go. Finally, Baker Lake. Uh, fun fact, one of the rescue parties for the plane ended up camping out at this lake and apparently there was a whole hut that right. they stayed in. Okay, so we just realized that when we stopped we, we dropped our bags <laughs> to go find the plane. We actually, we hung all of our food up just in case a bear came, which was a great idea at the time. But then the bad move was when we grabbed our bags after going to the plane, we, we were, left our food there. We were so thirsty, we thought we need to move as fast as we can to the lake to get water. That's right. And so our bag, our, we have no food and our food's about five kilometers back on the trail. And we've already, We've already collectively biked and hiked 40 kilometers today. Yeah. So and what do we I'm, do? And I'm spent. My legs are achy. Okay. I got to do a four or five K run loop to get the food and bring it back to camp before dark. It's a good challenge. What's a good spot to hang the food? It was just too good. Sprinkle this stuff on.